You're still rank fiving five stars? What the? Hey guys, what's up? It's Katie and I'm back with another Marvel Contest of Champions video. And today we're going to be talking about a little bit of a different topic. It's a topic that I get asked a lot and that is, should I continue to rank five my five stars or should I focus on my six stars and bringing them to rank two? And the answer is simple. Yes, you should still rank five your five stars. And here is why. Five stars are still highly valuable in this game. You can still use them in Act 6 and in the Abyss. So you're not necessarily gated out of using five stars and hopefully in the future you won't be gated out of using five stars. You shouldn't feel the need to rank to a six star just to, well, rank to a six star either. Because let's face it, to be honest, I have, what, like 22 rank five five stars and I only have two six stars at rank two. Who are they, you say? Well, they are Void and Sim Supreme. So, and like I said, I've got 22 rank five five stars and it's not like I don't have the six stars, you know, that I could take to rank two. I certainly do, but it's just some of the five stars are more, are more valuable to take to rank five than some of the six stars are to rank two. So, and if you really think about it, a rank two six star is pretty much equivalent to a rank five five star anyways. So, there are some five stars that you should take to rank five over a number of six stars to rank two. So let's talk about signature abilities because this is a big factor into whether or not you should rank five as five star or rank two a six star. Those champs who need a high sig level, you're going to want to take up the five stars over the six stars since it's easier to get natural sig levels on those champs as well as five star signature stones to pump into them. Now, unless you are a whale, <laughs> six star signature so stones are nearly impossible, you know, to get. So if I have a champion that needs a high sig, like, oh, I don't know, there's a bunch of them, right? Cap Infinity War let's say, Cap Infinity War, um, then in both the five and six star variety, I would take up the five star over the six star. It's just that simple, right? <clears throat> so now a champ that necessarily doesn't need the awakening or a high sig such as Domino, I would take up the six star over the five star because that just makes most the most sense. Now, I know a lot of people keep saying that six stars are the future. And you know what? That's true. However, Kabam moves like molasses when it comes to the availability of ranking champions. So honestly, I don't think the resources to rank four six stars will be available in the game in 2020, perhaps not even 2021, only time will tell. So that's just basically a prediction that I have off of past offers I have, I have seen and you know, the content that's coming out, i.e. the ability to get T5CC. So the average player that, you know, doesn't necessarily drop a mortgage payment a month on this game when, you know, you shouldn't leave your five stars behind like you do the four stars, you know, and start focusing exclusively on six stars. You shouldn't do that. In my opinion, I think five stars are going to be useful and people should still focus on them until more star, more more six star signature stones become available. T5CC is more readily available in game. Of course, by that time though, the lower tier you know, resources that five stars require to rank up will be much more readily available. So it'll basically become then, five stars become four stars, six stars become what five stars are now. So you just kind of got to think about it this way. So to sum up, basically, this is how I look at it is yes, you should still rank five your five stars. Now that doesn't necessarily mean you shouldn't rank two your six stars either. It's all dependent upon what that champion is or rather who that champion is, whether or not they require their signature ability and whether or not they require a high sig level. So again, let's take Cap Infinity War. Whoops, not level up, Katie. <laughs> uh, let's take Cap Infinity War here. So. I have both the five star and the six star. Now I recently did just pull the six star and the five star is 565. However, had I not already had the uh, Cap Infinity War at 565, I still would have brought him up over the six star because again, the six star is not awakened and Cap really benefits from his awakening. Now, if you look at someone like Domino, 
So, uh, or no, let's go with Sunspot. Let's go with Sunspot since I have both the six and the five star. So I have the six star Sunspot and I have the five star Sunspot. Yes, I know the five star Sunspot is super low ranked, but that is because I have the six star. I have no need to bring up the five star since I have the six star and Sunspot does not need his awakening. So, but anyways, guys, that's all that I got. Let me know in the comments below do you think you should still be ranking up your five-star champions or should you just be focusing on your six-star champions? Do you think I'm right in saying that you should, that it is all dependent on who that champion is, what their signature ability requires, and whether or not they need it or not? Let me know in the comments below and let's discuss. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you guys like what you saw and you want to see more, please remember to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and hit me up in the Discord chat. Thanks, guys. Bye.